Today we are going to talk about terminal velocity. What is terminal velocity? Terminal velocity is the maximum and constant velocity of an object that falls in the air. We can take an example of a paratrooper because the paratrooper as he jumps out of the plane he falls with a large acceleration and his velocity suddenly increases like this this is the velocity this is the time he has a large acceleration here because he attains a sudden increase in the velocity initially so what happens the paratrooper faces air resistance what is air resistance air resistance is a frictional force that always opposes the motion so the paratrooper is falling downwards his weight is acting vertically downwards but the frictional force air resistance is basically applying some force in opposite direction upwards that is basically drag force when drag force becomes equal to the weight of the object he will attain this constant velocity so what happens as he jumps out of the plane he has a large acceleration sudden increase in the velocity and as he moves in the air due to the air resistance what happens his acceleration basically starts decreasing because of the air resistance because of the drag force and at some point his velocity becomes constant uniform and as he attains the uniform velocity at that point acceleration becomes zero and that velocity that maximum velocity that he has attained over here is called terminal velocity this is the maximum velocity and this is the constant velocity constant and maximum so what is the condition over here drag force basically the drag force has become equal to the weight of the object the paratrooper's weight has become equal to the drag force that's why he has attained constant maximum velocity and his acceleration has become zero i've given you the paratroopers example but we can take another example suppose we can take the fog droplet if there's a fog droplet it is round in the shape and it has some radius and it has some volume. What is the volume of the sphere? It is 4 over 3 pi r cube. This is the volume of the spherical object, right? And this is the radius. So this is the fog droplet. So suppose the fog droplet is falling in the air, right? So it will experience air resistance. The air resistance will be opposite in direction like this. This is a drag force basically and its weight is downwards here. When the drag force, the force applied by the air resistance becomes equal to its weight, at that moment the velocity becomes uniform and that moment acceleration is also zero. So if you are talking about droplet, then in that case drag force is equal to weight what is drag force 6 pi eta r into v so this is weight is how much is the weight weight is mg so we are saying these two things have become equal so there is no net force in other words acceleration is zero and that means that net force is zero we can say net force is weight minus drag force because the weight is vertically downwards and drag force is vertically upwards and when these two quantities become equal equal means the drag force is just equal to the weight that means there is no net force So it would be like this m into g is equal to 6 pi eta r v. This is terminal velocity. So terminal velocity we can get 6 pi eta r 6 pi 
eta r. So this will be cancelled and your terminal velocity is equal to mg divided by 6 pi eta r. We will incorporate density into the formula. What is density? Density is equal to mass per unit volume. Density is noted by rho, mass is written with m and volume is written as v. So if we calculate m, it will be rho into v. Rho is the density of the air because the fog droplet is in the air. So we are talking about the density of the air because we are talking about the fog droplet that is spherical in nature. So volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is the mass. We can put this mass over here. Terminal velocity is rho 4 by 3 pi r cube into g divided by 6 pi eta r. By simplifying that expression, terminal velocity will be 2 rho r square g divided by 9 eta. So here, 2 rho g divided by 9 eta into r square. Basically, all of these things are constant. Density of air will remain fixed. Value of g will remain fixed. And eta is also a constant because it's a coefficient of viscosity. It is also a constant. All of these things are constants. And the only variable is r. That is the radius of the spherical thing. And in our case, it is a fog droplet. So fog droplet radius. Terminal velocity is directly proportional to r square. Terminal velocity depends on size basically. So basically this is size. Remember drag force depends on three factors. Drag force increases if the speed of the object increases. If there is object in the air, falling in the air, if its size increases, surface area increases, the drag force also increases. It also depends on the density of the medium. If density of the medium increases, the drag force increases. So there are three factors. The first, speed of an object. Number two is the surface, surface area. And third thing is the density. Well, I hope you have understood the concept of terminal velocity. I'll see you in the next lecture. Till then, goodbye.